We're going to tap today on insomnia and not being able to sleep. I know the full moon just passed and a lot of people notice that they are wide awake during this time. Sometimes that's due to the rise in estrogen approaching ovulation. Our body naturally has a hormonal spike right then, leading to a lot of wakefulness and just higher energy in general. But oftentimes insomnia, it's kind of a spiral situation. We are unable to sleep. We start worrying about being unable to sleep, thinking about how it's going to impact tomorrow, working ourselves into a bit of anxiety because it can be so frustrating. So tapping is one of the tools I found to be really effective for me with years and years and years of pretty intense insomnia. I'm talking like two to three, sometimes four days at a time of no sleep. So from personal experience, I'm with you. I know it's, it's not the most fun, but again, we always have the opportunity to respond differently to our circumstances, acting almost as if we chose them not saying we did, but really, if we start to try on the idea, what if I chose this insomnia? Would I be upset about it? Or is it a great opportunity to watch some movies? So regardless of where you're at right now, let's start with that karate chop point and repeating after me. Even though I wish this insomnia would go away, I still love and accept myself completely. And even though I really wish I could just sleep, I still love and accept myself just as I am. And even though I'm pretty frustrated and tired because I haven't managed to have a complete night of sleep in a while, I still love and accept myself just as I am. Top the eyes. All of these sleepless nights, tossing and turning, wondering when I'll finally be able to rest, noticing the clock just ticking by, noticing how anxious I get as my thoughts spiral Noticing how I feel frustrated, sometimes overheated, thinking about how it's going to in impact me tomorrow. Maybe I'll have to cancel those plans because I'll be too tired. How is my body ever going to heal if I can't even sleep? And I notice I even get anxious approaching bedtime wondering if it's just going to be another night of not sleeping. All of these memories, all of these nights, if only I could find a way to sleep, then I'll relax, says my brain. All of these nights, oh, I acknowledge and accept that I am tired, that I'm not feeling my best, and I definitely feel sleep deprived. <laughs> all of these stories and thoughts, all of these nights of tossing and turning, all of the spirals and dark places I've gone down in the middle of the night. And even with my bedtime snack, I'm still not sleeping. Everything this brings up, I'm choosing to let it soften. I'm choosing to the best of my ability to let these nights feel restful, even while I'm not sleeping. I'm choosing to find the restfulness as I remember 
My body will sleep when it needs to. And I know logically that worrying about it actually just makes it worse. All my spirals, all the frustration, I become this hulk of the night. So I'm choosing to smile at myself. I'm choosing to reduce my own suffering by greeting these sleepless nights, inviting, inviting in these sleepless nights with a sense of openness, with a sense of trust in my body. And if I act as if I've chosen these nights, I'm gonna throw myself a party. If I'm gonna be awake anyways, I'm gonna make it enjoyable. All of those movies I have saved in my queue. That stack of books that I haven't started yet. Those guided meditations I've been meaning to listen to. My old journals. Even just the idea of doodling. Something I've been meaning to do more of. I'm starting to notice that I can use this time well. That even though I wish I would be sleeping, I'm choosing to accept that I'm not. That I can't force myself to sleep. Just like you can't force a flower to blossom. So I'm choosing to support my body in the best ways I know how choosing to relax and breathe into this experience. I'm choosing to make this the most peaceful experience I can possibly imagine. And all of these stories that get stirred up, I'm choosing to greet them with my breath. So I have all of this time to focus on my breath, to master the art of being easy with things. Knowing that I've been through some hard things in the past that I didn't think I could make it through, but here I am. So again, I remind myself, if I'm gonna be awake anyways, I might as well enjoy this. Trusting my body will finally have to sleep. I'll have to rest. My body will rest when it needs to. But right now I'm awake, peacefully breathing, enjoying the ease of Netflix, and finding the restfulness in what is. Knowing that I can adapt for right now. Knowing how resilient my body is. Knowing that I'll find some time to nap and find the peacefulness in the days to come. And I start to remember to be curious to speak to myself like a baby that's having trouble sleeping. There, there, little one. Rest easy. Sleep will come when it needs to. Taking your wrist, just giving yourself a squeeze, taking a deep breath in, holding at the top. Breathing out through the nose, softening that belly of yours. So as you start to think about sleep, sleepless nights, insomnia, however that's showing up for you right now, train yourself to soften. Step into the possibility that 
the body is wise. It's not sleeping for a multitude of reasons. So let's step in and embrace that easy restfulness that is available to us. Almost like a very long meditation. Let's make these nights as restful and peaceful as we can make them. And even getting curious about what it might look like when there are other moments in your life that don't go your way and you're able to just just kind of drop the seriousness and adapt. This has ripple effects and I'm curious where it might take you. So feel free to report back. Feel free to save this for later. If you are one of those people that find yourself getting quite anxious and stirring up stories as bedtime approaches or as you're finding yourself wide awake at 3 a.m., this might be helpful. All right, see you soon. Some scrub, Jay. We've got some planks, some learning, got some videos, some sleep.